I'm here at Iguana Land, Florida's largest reptile zoo, and today I'm volunteering. All right, Ty, so what am I doing today? Find Anna, you're gonna feed the monitors. Well, the first thing I'm actually doing is feeding Arnold the Argus monitor, and these guys will actually tripod just like that, which is really cool. If this is the way the day is gonna go, it's gonna be a good day. Come on, buddy, up again. There you go, buddy. You're doing so good. This lizard is awesome. Come on, up here, up. There you go, buddy. You know what? You got your work cut out for you, dude. I you know. gotta train your Argus monitors a little better. I got no worries. And they actually do this tripoding in the wild so that they can see over things for their prey. Good boy. And this is actually a training that they're doing here to actually do it. And you'll notice that the stationing is basically like tripod, wait, and then feed. And that's the reward. And that's how you actually can get the animals to do this type of stuff. And this guy's actually staying in his tripod. Okay, but I know not everything we're gonna do today is gonna be as fun as feeding Arnold. We gotta get rid of a huge cactus. See this two giant cactus over here? Yes. There's too much in there. So I want you to move that one in up front and leave the one in the back. The one with the spikes is the one you want to move. How do you move a cactus? I got a knife. Max, can you move a cactus? Do we have gloves? I don't know if it could fit into these gloves. They're my size. He felt so accomplished, but he ripped the wrong cactus. I got this piece. No, I can't get, I can't get it. Yo, this one is strong. Ow! It hurt. This is great. Hi, do you have a machete? This is going to be great. Let's have a machete. I got this. <laughs> There's no way. This is not normal. Oh, damn. Oh, I hit my hand on my nose. He's helping. Oh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, this is easy. Oh, Allie, how much I love you. Gloves. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting poked everywhere. Look, look. <laughs> gloves now. Whoa. Oh, I'm a cactus. Go. You know, for 33 years old, you look great, girl. You're doing it the easy way. Take the whole thing out. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hug it. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't gonna do that. Do I no, have you weren't gonna hug it. Always had a thing for older women. Oh, dangerous. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh sheesh. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Watch yourself. No, here, bud. It's a cactus. Hey, hey, man. Don't move. What are you doing down there? <laughs> Ow! Help! Cactus gone. Ty, monitor's all set. Awesome. So next thing you gotta do is find Jacob and we're gonna clean up total enclosure. So I'm here with Jacob and he actually gave me the lowdown on how I'm gonna clean this Fly River enclosure. One of my favorite turtles, so let's go ahead and jump in. The first thing I have to do is actually pull this pipe out. Gosh, this Fly River is a beauty too. I love Fly River turtles. Oh, this is not easy as I thought it was gonna be. Here we go, boom. Now it's gonna start to drain down. Once it drains down about halfway, we'll be able to pull the turtle out. Then I have to get all of this algae off. You know, this Florida sun creates a tremendous amount of algae. You can see all over here. Gloves? Ah, oh, yes, I'm trying to catch some fish here. Got him! Woohoo! Time to get the Fly River turtle out. Look at this gorgeous monkey here. Oh my goodness. We gotta get this out and start cleaning this whole muck up over here. All right, get to work. All right, just calm down, mister. Even on my days off, I gotta work hard. Working so hard, man. Got to feed them one piece at a time so their stomach doesn't blow. Got about 300 more to go. Go quicker! I'm trying my hardest. Just relax. <laughs> slippery in here, you know. <laughs> Cleaned up. We're going to put the pipe back in. Keep that water from flowing down there. Turn the water on. Get the sucker filled up. And then we get the fly river back in. A little work out in the morning. Can't complain. Is that... <laughs> that clean? You get in here, Mac. I oh. thought he cleaned that. What is that? <laughs> Man, that drained out real quick. <laughs> it's clean. So every single person around here is, is critiquing my clean job. I'm sorry. I did the best I could. Yeah. Stop the complaining, Brian. All right, all right. I pay you enough. I'll buy you lunch. Wait, wait a second. I'm not getting lunch. paid. I'm buying you lunch. <laughs> All right, time to put the beauty back. Ty, this is beautiful. How long you had this? You had it for about maybe three years, but I think it's like 30 plus. You used to live in a 55 gallon aquarium. There you go, bud. Now we're actually in the breeding part of iguana land. What do you have me doing now? Okay, so you're gonna feed our rock iguana. This is something that we do five times a week. Today is vegetable day. Vegetable so day. They, huh. That's what you're gonna do. Who doesn't like vegetables? And Joe's actually gonna show me how to actually do it. What do I do? All right, so we get a clean tray, two animals in, so we're okay. gonna do two nice hefty handfuls. Two nice, that looks like more yeah, two. And just put it right in and here. We're gonna drop it right in. Ooh, and take a look at these guys. He's starting to eat already. This will be fun. We gotta feed this entire row. Let's get right. started. Get a little sweat going. Oh my. Huh. Ty, can I get a water break? It's getting a little, getting a little hot out here. There we go, guys. Mm -hmm. 
So Joe tells me cage 18 is the one I need to watch out for. So I'm gonna get a couple big scoops of, oh man, I'm starting to get hungry, get a little bit of dressing on this thing, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and see what's going on. What's your name, buddy? Have you ever watched my vlog? Don't worry about it. Whoa, what the heck is going on here? No, your lettuce is over here, bud. Your lettuce is right there. Whew. Yeah, I can see why they say be careful with cage 18. We still have a lot more to go. Well, that's how you feed a bunch of rhino iguanas. That was pretty awesome. I didn't do anything. It's got a little shit on his nose, but I don't want to grab it because no. I think it might rip my finger Dude. off. Take a look at this area quick. This is future rock iguana enclosures. It's going to be absolutely epic. These are all going to go all the way down here, but look at how amazing first class zoo stuff as I've ever seen. Well, I took. I'm glad it's not done now because I'd be in there cleaning it. Rake this area. Little cutie, little, little cutie. Get you the booty. Joe, is this what they want or they want something else? I need you to start over and do a nice cross hatch. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, a zoo like this is not easy work. Everyone thinks you just play with animals all day, but the truth is, is that it's a lot of this type of work. And I told Ty it would help him for the day. He didn't hold back. Fired up, Geo. Ryan could never do that. It's driving me how's your, crazy. How's your bicep feeling? Hang on to him. Noah. I got, I got a second pump of adrenaline. Try to get that shed. Yeah. Oh, great. Oh. What? Smooth. What? What? Smooth. This is difficult work, guys. Oh, 90 degrees out here, the sun is beating down like you can't believe. Got this all raked up. I'm only five hours into an eight hour day, so I still have three hours left. All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. I need to look at some animals. I'm gonna hide from Ty a little bit because he keeps putting me to work. Look at these beautiful albino water monitors here. This is the Anagana rock iguanas, Clara, that are absolutely super rare. Uh, I tell you what, I should have probably just volunteered to, to look at animals all day because Ty is really putting me to work. But listen, it's worth it for a place like this. And then these are the record eye, another really rare, Cyclera, and then this whole wall here has all kinds of really cool stuff. We got the Gastropholus up here. We got the little spine test, all the Tinosaurus. Oh crap, there's Ty. I'm in trouble. That's look at crazy, that neck, huh? dude. How it's just bending like that. It's amazing. <laughs> Woo! Ooh, that's a workout. I think I blew my rotator cuff. So I don't know if you guys know about the photo war that Max Strong and I have going on, it's but it basically thing. started at the Reptarium with Brian Bartek. And the outdoor area is looking absolutely amazing too. Just getting a little bit of a break in between all the hard work, but I think I've got one more thing I've got to do over here. Ty wanted me to do some kind of backing that was, needs to be screwed on. So I'm heading over there, but in the meantime, just looking at this amazing place. So well, I tell you what, and it's cool. Iguana Land is now open to the public. I'm going to put a link in the description to all their social media, as well as their website. If you want to come here, it's absolutely Absolutely cool. It's actually in Punta Gorda, Florida. Absolutely wonderful down here. Just take a look at this. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick look. I have a feeling we've got a bunch of work to do on these here later too. So I tell you what, volunteering is tough. I have to basically go through in every little area that doesn't have a screw all the way down. Gotta put a screw in. Well, I'm working my butt off. I'm trying to figure out where Noah and everyone else is. Let's go find them. What the heck are you guys doing, man? I've been I'm sweating my butt off out there. Trying to stay, kind of stay away from you a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it seems We're like, having it fun, seems like man. a drag, this whatever you got going on, huh? Have you guys done any work today at all? This Look at is this. It. Yeah. Yeah. Looking at this it. I'm filming. Hard work. Enrichment is my this job. This work? Yeah. Training. What have you been doing? You just seem like you're just holding the camera walking around yeah. all day. Yeah. I've seen, like the, I seen you on the iguana before. Woo! Drinking water bottles. Putting GoPros all over the place. Look at what get back to work because if Ty sees I'm not working, I'm going to get in big trouble. So now I have to actually zip the top ones with screws here. Now I could do one of two things. I could try to reach up there or I could use a step stool, but I think I'm going to go with the ladder. So Ty, I can actually play with the parenti finally. <laughs> After, After okay. you deal with it. All right, let's clip the nail. Finally, I get to have a little bit of fun with this absolutely beautiful Parenti monitor, largest monitor lizard in Australia. I mean, this thing is an absolutely incredible animal. As a matter of fact, I have a tattoo of a Parenti monitor on my left arm. That's how much I love these guys. I mean, the pattern on that neck is unbelievable. And again, these guys do get pretty big in Australia. I've never seen Parenti. So one day, hopefully, I'll find one of these guys in the wild because they are a dream animal. And I tell you what, you're not going to go very many places to see these. So Iguana Land is definitely pretty special. Ryan, don't you have more work to do? Oh, look at this, guys. Oh my gosh, of course, 
This is a giant Mata Mata turtle, and they can actually get quite a bit bigger, believe it or not, but this is still about three times the size of the ones we have, and it is absolutely amazing. It's an Amazonian turtle. You can see just with the algae growing on it and stuff like that, this thing will camouflage. If this is on the bottom of a river, no way in the world you're gonna see this animal. It's got that long net, and that little tiny appendage on the end is actually its nose, so what happens is it stays underwater, and it sticks just the top of its nose up for breathing. Whoa, did you see that little monkey? I'll put you back. I know you're not happy about it. This is definitely one impressive pathway right here. Side to side, all aquatic turtles. Some of the rarer stuff you'll ever see. I mean, just absolutely enclosure after enclosure. Just absolutely amazing. Well, I tell you, what, this this aisle here is really impressive. All right, hey, uh, there's some algae over here. I tell you what, Ty, that was absolutely an amazing day. I love it here. I don't know if I'm going to volunteer again, but I will be back to see you. <laughs> That's great. What a friend I have. Really. I really appreciate you coming. Thank you, man. I appreciate you, brother. Right. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one. You no, did it easy I'm way. Bleeding, though. Oh, that's a good thing. I mean, that's a what bad thing. <laughs>